As the world celebrates Earth Day, a sobering reality is that our food and water sources are becoming increasingly contaminated with microplastics and toxic metals. But really, what can we do about it? Is there a way to keep you and your family safe? The EPA reveals 70 million people have drinking water that tested positive for toxic forever chemicals. The average bottle of water contains 240,000 pieces of cancer-causing nanoplastics. And now scientists find 90% of all burgers, steaks, chicken, and even the so-called healthier plant-based foods contain microplastics. You also get it from seafoods like fish, oysters, shrimp. Americans consume more than 11,000 microplastics every year from our food. It's reported that's an average of five grams of microplastic every week, the equivalent of a credit card. The latest source of plastic ingestion is drinking water. Researchers at Columbia University found the average liter of bottled water contains more than 240,000 nanoplastics. What can you do about it? First, use non-toxic, reusable, stainless steel water bottles. Avoid foods that are stored or wrapped in plastics. Avoid fast food. As studies show, it contains high levels of phthalates. Also, researchers found high-fat foods contain more microplastics. Choose fresh, minimally processed foods. Use wood or stainless steel kitchen tools. Avoid plastic shopping bags. All right, so one thing I know I'm going to do is change out my plastic cutting board for a wooden one. That's at least one step in our family. So which is safer, though, bottled or tap water? Both contain toxins, but the researchers who did this study out of Columbia say after what they learned, they all decided to drink less bottled water. And that's an inexpensive way to ingest less microplastics. Now, a new study out of China did find that if you're willing to boil your water for five minutes, then filter it through a coffee filter, that will re remove 90% of plastics. And more particles were able to be removed from hard water than from soft water.